Hello, I'm Morris Kohansky, Wilderness Living Skills Instructor. Here I have a, 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 a I don't know what you'd actually, actually uh, call them. They almost appear like the Swiss Army knife of, of uh, hand, uh, handware. But the issue is that we have something here that is designed by someone who does not appear to have knocked about in the bush. So anybody that produces an item like this, you would hope that they would wear it out and wear it for a few winters and, and come to a determination about um, something that should be designed right. So here we have a kind of a glove mitten. It's got fingers. And for some reason, there is a reason to expose your fingers like that. Usually as a, as a surveyor and doing fine stuff, and I think Randy mentioned that his father was a milk, milkman delivering, and of course you gotta find that it's awkward handling money unless you got the exposed fingertips. Well, I cannot comprehend why do people uh, not in case these two little, the little finger uh, and uh, the finger there in one instead of they're separate. Why are the ends cut off on those fingers? They do not participate in the manipulation. These two fingers and actually the thumb needs to have an arrangement where there's a slot that you can pull the thumb off and you expose the thumb and those two fingers and you do your fine manipulations like that. Well then on top of that they have the facility to cover your fingertips like so. Now it's a little bit more of a mitt. But I very quickly found that there was an extreme frustration with regard to working in the wintertime and getting snow in there. So in a short while, you had all kinds of problems from the snow that's gotten in there and melted and made, made that wet. And so it occurred to me that it was exactly backwards. So when I would get these, I would disattach this part and I would put it so that the palm is clear and no snow can get under it and the uh, little Velcro thing that holds back is here. Because for some reason the people that devise this figured that that, is, that would be awkward to do it that way. And it just does not really work very well to use, use it this way. So to my way of thinking, uh, I would do something to cap off these two fingers and uh, uh, someday maybe get a hold of the manufacturers and say, why, why don't you come to your senses and make this uh, the, the way it should be. Uh, here we have uh, something in a much more robust version. The uh, situation you, I see in these is that they incorporate thinsulite. Now thinsulite is a, kind of an exceptional insulated material. But what I find is that when I have thinsulite in my gloves, they swelter very quickly. There's something about the issue that uh, you, uh, you have overheating occurring. And again, um, the, uh, the, uh, the cap for the fingers is on the wrong, is on, on the wrong side. So this is either half done or mismatched or whatever. So when you buy these for a Christmas present, keep that in mind that maybe a pair of fingerless gloves inside of a, a, uh, a mitten and that covered by a leather mitt might be the ideal combination.